So now we're going to do experiment 19, preparing the growing medium for the bacteria. And there are a bunch of materials you need, so it's best to just get them all out first and then you'll have them. You must wear the safety goggles for this experiment and you must also have adult supervision. So first measure 50 milliliters of water in the measuring cup and add it to the cooking pot. So this measuring cup only goes up to 30, but you can measure 30 and then 20. There's 30 and there's 20. And then pour in all of the growing medium and stir with the wooden spatula. So we're just going to pour all of this in here. And if it doesn't come out, you can always help get it out with the wooden spatula. So let's actually put the lid back on here and then stir it with the spatula. And when it's completely stirred in, let's put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. And once it's boiling, we can turn it off. Then you're going to bring the pot back to your workstation and pour some into the petri dishes leaving two millimeters of space at least on the top and then cover it right away because you don't want any bacteria in there just yet. And now you're going to have to wait at least half an hour for the medium to cool and harden. So now we're going to do experiment 20, cultivating bacteria. And you're going to need the dishes from experiment 19. So first, in order to know which bacteria we have in which parts of the dishes, we're going to divide each dish into quarters. So we're going to take each dish and first with a marking pen divide it in half and then divide it into quarters and you're going to label each quarter with a number so one, two, three, four then you're going to do the same for the other dish one, two, three, four then you want to distinguish between the two dishes so we're going to label one dish A and the other dish, B. So now we're going to put different kinds of bacteria in the different sections and just think about where bacteria might be around your house or even outside. You can get creative, but make sure that you have the bacteria ready before you open the lid because there's even lots of bacteria in the air that can get inside. So one thing you could do is stick a toothpick between your teeth and put that into one section and then close the lid right afterwards. Another thing you can try is taking the sponge that you use to wash dishes and just squeezing a little drop. You could take some soil from a potted plant You could even spit inside the measuring cup and pour some of your spit in. When you're done with each dish, you want to take some plastic wrap and wrap it around the edge of the petri dish so that it stays well closed and sealed. And you want to leave the dishes in a quiet room temperature location where it won't get too cold or too hot. You also want to keep track of what you put into each dish and what's going on in each dish. So you can take a piece of paper and you can make a little table for each dish. So let's make a table for dish A. I have one, two, three, and four. In section one, I put the dish soap on a sponge. In section two, I put some saliva. In section three, I put some soil from a houseplant. And in section four, I put 
stuff that was between my teeth. So now I can make the table. and add columns for every 24 hours. So today is Thursday. So I can check it every day for a couple days to see how it's changing. So today I'm going to paint a little picture and make some notes. So the dish soap was kind of white. And then every day I'll check it and I'll draw a picture and I'll make some notes. And you might be surprised, looking at the image in the manual, what you might find growing in your Petri dish. So here is Petri dish A on the second day, 24 hours later. So this once again is the dish soap from the sponge. This is some saliva. This is some soil from a potted plant. And this is some stuff from between my teeth. But you can see that the bacteria is all just kind of growing together. And you would once again fill in the corresponding cells in the table for 24 hours later making a little image of what it looks like and writing a description.